Moshi Moshi, my gamers, and welcome back to Kenshi Impact. Today, we'll continue doing the potion shop. The alchemy shop has opened, but you and Power are dazzling busy. After the pre-trial period, the potion shop opened to great success. Damn, look at that. Ooh, Leah people? Business show is booming. We've got a lot of orders. Paimon's not sure we can fill them all on our own. Lisa? Uh, maybe we should hire some help. Or oh, Lisa? I mean, we could, but who? Taking a break, cuties? I was just looking at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we can use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? I kind of thought you were just slacking off. <laughs> hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? I'm sure. Now we go next test in here. Here we go. Talk to Freda. Traveler, Paimon, hello. Is there something I can help you with? Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I've discussed that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, cultivation, and sales. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Improve of efficiency. Looks like all the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. Please, try it out. Now, what do we- Oh, look at all this. When constantly potion, the chance of lucky bonus is increased to 30%. When lucky bonus is obtained, the level of potion will be additionally increased. Let's do it. Now, that's done. Now, what about- Yeah, this too. This- Like, double up. What about the plants? Oh, you need a lot more money than this, oh boy. Sitting for the stocks too. Well, so soon fish has been spotted in monster, but it is engaged to as well at them. Recently, the number of people injured by monster attack is on the rise, and Dr. Barbara is looking forward to first do business in stock in the church of Fafonius. Now, we got a job to do, so this should be pretty easy. So, let's see. You can expand funds and consume special achievement funds to increase the weight at which your ingredients will mature, allowing you to directly obtain them. The funds consumed will be decided by amount of operational cycles remaining before the ingredients will have matured. Alright. Increased. Oh, nope, not that one. One button. Sorry! Now, everything else that's still growing. Duh. No, hold up. Duh, any more? I mean, I think we find ways for now, so. The new ones are still going, so yep, let's just continue out thing. I'm also injured because I don't know what we're supposed to do, so hmm. So healing seems about oh it's just this one mostly. I mean we'll give it a try. Like everything else, let's just give them like hearts and wings. Because why not? And let's give this generic bottle to make it beautiful. Now I'm gonna stock these up for healing. Okay, always this always happens. Mona! Come on! Okay, healing is something we need. Okay, that's 10. Okay, I keep the highest price. So, let's just keep that one. Alright, that's be good. Let's just rest for today and then we should be good, right? So, that's complete. So, how is the stock market going? Ooh, that's good. <gasps> so close! Hey! What's up, Beto? Greetings, Traveler, Paimon, and Lisa. On the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. At first, mm -hmm. I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs. But 
Judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. I wouldn't be surprised if you became a potion master one day. Hmm, I've still got a long way to go. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? Yep. It's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it, the goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Hmm. Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. Let me guess, you would like us to also take part in this exam? Yes. Although, it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. You will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. <laughs> what a great idea. I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have improved. Bring it on. <laughs> Confidence is a good look on you, cutie. Wonderful. Then, let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, intermediate, advanced, an expert. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep. Just let me know when you're ready. Hmm, check the exam requirements. A bicycle, let's take a test. All can be exams are tests extended to access your progression doing techniques. The exam was split into several stages that must be copied in sequence. You have three accept attempts to each stage. Additionally, potion produced during the exam will not be safe. You'll be instructed to be refining the ingredients consumed during the exam. Each test stage comes with this primary and secondary objectives. Complete the primary objective to pass the test. And complete the secondary objective to increase your test rating. Test rewards are based on your rating. If you fail the exam, you must wait to a certain period before taking the exam. Alright, we've we'll got all this to deal with. So, my understanding, we need to connect the person to go to a higher grade with those includes hmm, imitation. Okay, it includes hard, so I'm gonna use. Hmm, I'm gonna place one here, and how big is this one? Ooh, big as that one. Okay, I'm gonna put this back real quick. I'm gonna place and rotate this one. Oh, come on. There you go. And place this right here for double, because why not? And let's add something very warm and sticky. Not sticky, I was kidding. Um, let's add also... Damn, we got... let's add the balance one too, because why not? And then we'll take this one, like right here, in place. That should be enough. That should be good, right? Oh, look at that. So you cut that big one, like really? What you mean I failed? I had to use the blue one, like you're joking, right? And apparently this has to be level 5 too, so I didn't know that part. So I'm gonna go ahead and place probably just... That's level 1. I'm gonna place... I'm gonna double it just because... Why not? And then, the one that's maximized, I share those two. 
because you really need that. And then the one is level two. So I'm bringing that along with me. And the one is maximized. I'm gonna bring that too as well. And the level twos. I'm gonna like put two of these because why not? That should be enough. Hopefully that's enough. Me level five. Come on. Oh, that is a lot higher than you thought. What the fuck? Oh, you're using three types. Okay, got it. Hmm, if that's the case, then the ones are level ones. I'm gonna start with those. So it has to be something higher there. Which one is bigger? Um, like this one maybe? I hope that's the case. And then... What about this one? That's 85. Ooh, that's 65. I don't know which one is bigger or not. I'm gonna keep placing down because why not? Like, maybe 200 or something. Hmm. Like, that's still 80%. Still 80? It's like, none of these are higher levels. What can I do about it, actually? Like, maybe add another one? Nope, not this one. Come on, Sugo, this is torture! Would it hurt to just put three? Nope! Oh, it has to be 100 though. Mmm. I'm gonna place this flower because... Is this good? Please? It needs to be like that, right? Is that Oh my god. I, mean, I got to check my why, but what are these two mean? I put the blue one. Uh, you are still pretty new to this. A few mistakes here and there are to be expected. That was hard, sick Rose. Oh, Paimon just got a bit flustered when she remembered she was taking an exam. Hmm, we were so close. Don't get discouraged. I also made all sorts of mistakes when I first started doing experiments. You know what they say. Practice makes perfect. I'll come back later and you can try again. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna add this flower. And let's see. What about a strength for the healing too? If it lets me. So I'm gonna put this way here and some strength. Oh, wait, what else am I doing? Actually, that should be good. With knowledge. Okay, this needs to go by because it's blue. So this could go in for healing. So now I am going to sit down with Lisa and no, not talk to her. Okay, let me go sit down. End the day of the cycle. Huh, it went down a little bit, but that's okay. Got all those check marks. Let's adjust some of these. So start with this one. Start with the green colors, and then enchant this one. And then, oh, that's the maximize. Oh, so maximize up to seven, or oh, basically the last level we're doing. Strengthen. Go up. There you go. In this. So we got Christox and Wilson. That's worth 450. Ooh. You no, know, this was gonna go bye bye. And let's add this one to the market. And then I'm gonna go sit down with Lisa. End of day. Psycho done. Ooh, it went up. That's nice. Look at that. Long time no see. Must lie home at night. I heard that you are wearing yourself once again. This time, as Jing and Lisa business consultant, can see I'm surprised. I'm leaving the car we can as long this train march over the past few days. And just when we arrived back in the neighborhood, a pair of ventures discovered a band of bandits were taking advantage of a chaos caused by some monsters. So, I ordered some jewelry for the company. I little up top right before taking care of those troublemakers. I never imagined the meal would come with a complete potion which destroyed the knight's strength and recorded time so that we were before the exhaustion training. The cleanup operation was surprised smoothly. Mm. It was only afterwards that I learned the project came from your shop. You're doing well, I see. Asked the colleague captain. Mm. Receive your assistance. I naturally must write a letter to thank thanks. Also, please accept this payment as a token of gratitude for us. I hope that we will make more opportunities for such fruitful cooperation as colleagues. <gasps> Venti and Diana? Traveler? That seems pretty. Huh. Looks like you're running a business. Yeah, selling drugs to people. Oh, hey, Diona! And Tone Deaf Bard. What brings you to the shop? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. <laughs> she's like, um, I think he's just a god who sniffs everything. Again with the nonsense! Don't listen to him! We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Cutsdale, so she asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. Well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Well, that explains your enthusiasm then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. Anyway, 
I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. The bar saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. So we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see. <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragonspine. It was once buried in the snow, and is still cold to the touch even now. I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. Uh-huh, because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> that still doesn't solve our problem, though. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? Hmm, you could infuse drinks with different effects. Huh? Infuse drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? Oh, I'm on kids with these saying. Ahem. <clears throat> You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Mondstadt alchemy scene right now. Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in Tibet. Ugh, <sighs> but what do potions have to do with drinks? You can add them as an ingredient, of course. Potions can add all sorts of different effects. For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. Wow. I never knew potions could do something like that. Hmm, Palmo's example is a bit of a stretch. Hmm, I see. How about a potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again? Could you make something like that? I could try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't go making promises we can't keep, Traveler. How are we supposed to make a potion like that? Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. It's okay. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. Hmm, this may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. So you mean a potion that, that good. keeps someone sober and awake? Sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? Hmm, if we just need to do something that increase the mind. Perfect! <laughs> I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. They'll finally have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity. It's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. I gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. Yeah, I got this. The main reason I couldn't declare your monsters in order to protect melee, they want to remain calm as soon as they do so and end the battle quickly. And actually, the Pagalitic tournament is underway in the Fortress of Melope, and it's said that Soul is looking to buy ways to boost the physical value no matter the price. So, Diana wants to make what? Nate, check out thing out first. So, how's the potion coming? Finished yet? Hmm, what is it? Oh, oh, he has solved the game! Okay, never mind that! Um, let's see, uh, let's give him the very exotic ones. Here you go. Wow, I can't believe I'm holding the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! Wowza! Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away! Wait, don't leave without me. I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester. Of course. <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject.
subject. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just like that, another problem solved. Looks like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh, if I'm able to develop something like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. Oh boy. Amazing! I can't wait to make a soda find out. Maybe I'm more sober and more than drink. Okay, no, that's that. I'm gonna go buy some upgrades if I could from you, lady. Then you buy some. Hold up, supplies first. Ooh, new supplies. Okay. Oh, level 9s, really? What about the potion? Ooh, what's this? Ooh, oh, gifts? Okay, it looks interesting. One, two, three, four, five. I could buy five of these. Why not? I could do it. I'll buy the whole thing. Because I became wealthy, all thanks to the business side that we did together. So I'm gonna buy this, I'm gonna buy this, and I'm also gonna buy this. Now next up, upgrade! Hey, 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 I'm not done talking to you. I'm not done talking to you. Let me improve some things if I could do so myself. Now let's see, the expensive one should go first. And this one could be next. What about the stocks too? Damn, let me do that too. So let's do that next. If this, if it's calm day one, I'm thinking they want relax and focus. That's like the odds I could think of. So I'm gonna place. Ooh, this one looks very unique if you ask me. Uh, let's see what get. Oh, I can do that now, mind. And let's add this to the frame. Collect this. So that's done. What about steadying? Like I should probably add that too. Like some of this to make it more efficient. If you ask me. More efficient means more balance. Wait, no, that's complete. Mm, more efficient balance. So let's set this at this because it's kind of blue for bounce stat, right? So this was do. Gonna stock you up. Go up there. Time the end of day of sitting with Lisa. Now we got that done complete. Ooh, more up. You guys see that? Look at the profit. Damn. Look at these bottles. I'm gonna upgrade these because these are different ones compared to what we got. And this one. Level 10. Seems like this is already done, so let's make whatever I guess. I got an idea. What about the ones that are still level zeros? I could use those to upgrade anyone. So the ones that's low levels or at least level zeros, I'm gonna start with those. Which I did. That is the most gorgeous looking thing. It matches this color, let's give it that. Give it this and sell this one. Let's stock it up. And then after this, sitting down, I'm gonna buy some more things. So let's see. Oh, we're down a little bit. No, that's not a big deal. That's okay. Oh, it's you again. We can proceed with the exam whenever you're ready. Hold on, Sukuels. No I'll be waiting for you here. Let me let me do something real quick, Sukuels. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna buy some upgrades for my things. Okay, improve quality of PC. Oh, let's see which one is better. Uh, increase the four. Increase the two. I'm buying this one. I need this and this. Okay, hopefully I'm waiting for this. If not, I don't know what's going on. So I need to do this again. So it needs to include at least one of these. But that's 25. Okay, this is also 25. But we need a higher level. So I'm going to use something higher than this. So this could go right here. And the ones that are high levels or maybe maximize. But they're not big enough. I'm going to use up to three only. That's 50. That sucks! Good, please be something sequels. Please, sequels. This is not your expectation, of course not. What if I add just three of these? Like, wouldn't that be kind of weird? Because it's like apparently 100%. That should be good. Yeah? And, but that's low level. Ooh, that, uh, I mean, that's good! But everything else, though, that's just one thing. That's okay. Your movements are quite practiced, and your potion meets the requirements as well. Congratulations on passing the beginner exam. Hmm, that was a piece of cake. And had a challenging moment. Even so, it was no match for your skills. All right, I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback. Looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam. I'm going to head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. Yeah, bicycles. Let's just give you a hug. Oh, look at that. Good. Let's upgrade these two and clean this one to make it more efficient. Let's enchant these again because why not? The ones that is more leveling up, I'm placing them down because they actually need it. Now, the one level ones, I could add as I wanted to, which I did. Mm, beginner strength and wisdom. And I seen the cutscene mouse this one, so I'm gonna put this here. 
And I think for the... What should I do? Give them the wisdom for the next talk? I mean, sure, let's do it. Now we sit down with the ends of the cycle. Ooh, suck with a boy! That's amazing! Some of the country's engines will be poor health, and they hope they find a way to extend their lifespan. What the hell? They have been fully disturbed in the desert lady, and the guardians of all villages leading to other guys and the defense against monster attacks. That should that should be easy. Let's buy I mean improve, let's improve, but we need this. I go into think doing this endurance, warm and technique. Like for the what's that called? Give them a lifespan? It seems kind of questioning, like, why would you want that? Like, that's like, kind of cheating if you ask me, it's like you're cheating life if you want to do that. So I should, I should add... Balance. I'm gonna wall this to make it way heal. And what else should I add? Wind. And let's give him this. I'm gonna add this, 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 and this too. Hopefully that works. Then I don't know what else then doesn't work. Oh, it did. That's not a bad idea. Look at that! Oh my god, it's Candace! The Emma composites the coin of the Oliver on a path with other gods and other child desert. Allow me to express my sincere thanks. Not long ago, a strange happenings were offered here in the desert. With hordes of monsters woman near our village, harassing women and traveling alike. It was our great formal that the potion Only you created was cool in helping and traveling avoid danger. And reaching our village. After the gods drink them as well, they became more villain and driven back to the monster. Soon I shall land them in the offense and restore our our village, check the code. Should you have time, please come to our village with us for a spell. I shall prepare our finest meat and drink food. Hello, everyone. D Luke! What brings you here? Oh, is that Master D Luke? Yeah. Oh, D Luke. What's someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? It's fascinating seeing you here, Master D Luke. Elzer told me the Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. But seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. Uh, Elzer is the manager of Don Winery, right? Yeah. Huh, I might thought he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Wait, are we that famous already? <laughs> No need to sound so surprised. The winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. Threat? Rival? Hmm, with the trade will begin. You sure seem eager, cutie. Looks like you really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? Hmm. A competition with the Traveler. That's not a bad suggestion. You're extremely knowledgeable and well-traveled. If we were to become competitors, I'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. Probably even some I've never faced before. But I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. Our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space. Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Good for your business? Paimon's lost! You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. That's exactly right. Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. Enjoy life if you're super busy all the time. Paimon never thought about it that way before. There sure are a lot of layers to running a business. Guess this means we're in the more making business together then. Hey, why don't you try out one of our potions? Please check it out for free, dear partners. Hmm. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Well, since you offered, Please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? That 
almost sounds a little contradictory to me. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D. Luke, how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. After a period of high stress, like a busy work day, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy, like relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. <sighs> you can say that again. Simon's definitely been there before. Sometimes, after a really long day, She's so tired, but she just can't relax. Not even her favorite snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. Oh, my poor little cuties. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Once this is all over, I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. So basically, you need us to make a potion that decreases tension, but increases attention. So that people can enjoy the finer things in life, no matter how busy or stressed they are. Uh, did Paimon get that right? Sounds about right. Exactly. Wine is meant to be savored. Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss, not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. Excellent put, Master Diluc. Well, it's definitely a unique request. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. We should get to thinking then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. We got this. We probably have some. Let's just talk to them though, just in case. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? Uh, I think we have some already. Let's check it out. Oh, we do. This one. That's nice. We have a lot of them. We'll give. I thought you might need more time, but it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. One second. And how did the potion do you look? I look over and he takes a small dose of taste of potion effects. Whoa. The effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, and don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself? Interesting. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. We just secured a huge order from Dawn Winery. If our potion was enough to impress Master Diluc, Paimon sure regular customers are gonna be even more amazed! Well, there's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. In any case, it's been a pleasure working with you. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in, for both our sakes. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel Share to see your masterpiece in action. For sure! Paimon can't wait! We'll see you next time, Master D. Luke! Damn, appearance is more than like twice. To help those who are exhausted to concentrate, and to help those back with nerves to relax, your potion will have extremely considerable potential indeed. I'm gonna buy some upgrades, because why not? We got nothing else to- uh, No, not this one, one, one. A way to improve. Hmm, let's see, let's start with this one. Just to make it a lot. We got so much from D-Look, that's crazy. Okay, let's just buy more stocks. And what else can I buy, actually? We could only attend this one. Eh, that's okay. I got so much. Uh, let's give it this one. So I have a teddy bear looking. Constancy and Dexy, they have two different kinds, so let's add this one. 
Two star. Oh, I got one more with space. What am I doing? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, what can I add then? Hmm. Do I want to cost more? I will definitely sell those. Yeah, at the end of the day. Oh, and Lisa, that's done. Woo! Ooh, went up. You see that, guys? So much money! Look at all this I'm adding for the next potion I'm making. It seems very questionable. Hmm. I suppose going to last make Happy complete your work more easily. What did I give it a try? Hold on a second, listen. Let me suck this up first before anything else. So, this right here is a criticism and calcium. Okay, so I'm gonna give up this one and sell this one. And then, I'm gonna do next is go up there apparently and start doing what I'm supposed to do with Lisa said. You can drag your Christian ingredients to the same XP stories, increasing your ingredient level. Using the lens ingredient function, using the function you use to play stocks to avoid controversial ability to your shop. Alright, so if I go here. Oh. So if I. So the ones are low levels, I'm gonna start with those. So, analyze the cost for this one. Ooh, that's like one level? Level two? Oh, there you go, that's good. I'm gonna guess this is complete now once I'm done with that. So, oh, went down a little bit. That's okay, we did good. Great job, Kelly. She actually also was surprised with additional funds. Here you go. Traveler, Paimon, how has the potion making been going lately? So close, you're back! Hmm, it's been going great. I should have known. You really do have a talent for alchemy. I'm sure this exam will also be a walk in the park for you. Well, ready to begin? Okay, round two. Let's just give it a try. When you strength and durability? Ooh, no, that's not a big deal. No, than 10. Oh, that's easy. Let's add this to the mix. And we need some win abilities too. The ones that are level ones, I'm going to start with those. And then we need those two only. So I'm going to add a book to this to begin 95. And then let's also add in this one, flowers. Now that's pretty good, right? I mean, if it's not, then what the fuck, sequels? You trying to be a bitch to me? Level eight? Eh, that's not right. But you got ten white, and it has to be like about level eight. Level eight, she said. Let's see if I can figure this out without any problems. So I also need two of these to be in display. So I'm gonna add this and add. This for top of that. So is this good? Let's give it a try actually. This might be a good idea. Hmm. Is this warm? Nine! Okay, good, good, good. What the fuck? Oh, okay, I get it actually. It can't be different ones. We need actually the same type of ones. So so is this two different characteristics apparently? So I'm gonna guess you supposed to do this. And if it can't be the same ones, then I'm gonna guess it has to be two straightened ones. And that's it. Yeah? Is that what I need to do? Probably. Endures and warm. That's good. Level 10s. It's not a big deal. Okay, I don't get it on this one. I did it right though, but uh, what do you mean we still 8 plus? I just did more than that. And straightened the body. Oh, wait. Oh, I misread it. It's alright. You'll get there. You just need a bit more practice. I was doing I'll fine. Back later and you can try again. So close. I was doing just fine. The captain of the shall wants to improve the causing of the new city and current effects of seasickness. The director of the UK operator is preparing to process a batch of breakup of the no performance. Yeah, and we're not done with this yet. I'm going to place new ones. So here's this one. We'll go here. Adding this one and this one. I'm going to put constitution focus and steady link because they needed that. So the ones that are level zeros, I'm gonna start with that. And I probably need this too as well, including this one. Let's make it 100% effective and amazing. Let's put this with it too and make it beautiful. Since that's consuming and strength, I'm gonna get rid of this one and put this in stock. 165, that's like a lot more than I thought. Now end the cycle and sit down. And Sukul is gonna- Oh, that went down like a room. I mean, that's okay. Oh my god, it's Lenny! Thank you so much for those amazing push and for you and Parmate. Lynette and I have been researching non-stop for a whole slew of new magics lately and we completely wore ourselves out of the part of not being able to coordinate properly. Luckily, Fermi bought us a kind of infraversion potion and it clearly our minds right up. He said a merchant from Samaria was recently from another supplier. I found him after- and after exchanging a few words, I learned that the inventor of the potion were none other than you and Paimon. Bravo! No less than I expected. 
Thanks for to your help. Leonard and I successfully mastered a brand new program for the platform act of our show. We'll send you an invitation to the next phones in advance, so be sure not to miss it. No circles? I mean, I'm done apparently. Alright, I'm gonna bail. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Side.